Try free SAP HANA 2.0 SPS 07C underscore HANA Tech underscore 19 Real Questions for Preparation 1. Which actions can you perform using the SAP HANA Platform Lifecycle Management Web User Interface? Note. There are two correct answers to this question. A. Configure the system landscape directory registration. B. Manage the full system information dumps. C. Update the SAP HANA database system. D. Stop and start the SAP HANA database system. Answer. A. C. 2. Which role do you need in order to assign users to groups in the SAP HANA cockpit? A. Cockpit user role B. Cockpit user administrator role C. Cockpit database administrator role D. Cockpit administrator role Answer. C. 3. Which SAP HANA cockpit application can you use to investigate a system offline situation? A. Full system information dumps B. CPU usage monitor C. Troubleshoot unresponsive system D. Out of memory event monitor Answer. A. 4. Who owns an SAP HANA Deployment Infrastructure, HDI, role? A. The container-specific technical user B. The system user of the tenant database C. The SYS repo technical user D. The user who created the role Answer. A. 5. Which types of backups can you use to copy an SAP HANA tenant database? Note. There are two correct answers to this question. A. Full database backup B. Data snapshot C. Delta database backup D. Fallback snapshot Answer. A. B. 6. In which situations can you resume the failed recovery of your productive SAP HANA tenant database? Note. There are two correct answers to this question. A. An aborted recovery of a Delta data backup. B. An aborted recovery of a log backup. C. An aborted recovery of a complete data backup. D. An aborted recovery of the configuration files. Answer. A. B. 7. Which prerequisites have to be fulfilled before you reset a database migration option, DMO, procedure? Note. There are two correct answers to this question. A. Cleanup has already been triggered. B. The SUM folder needs to exist. C. The DMO Pro E hasn't reached downtime yet. D. The source database is up and running. Answer. B. D. 8. You are checking and monitoring SAP HANA system replication. Which status indicates a temporary connection loss of the secondary system? A. Unknown B. Error C. Initializing D. Syncing Answer. D. 9. What additional action do you need to perform after you create a new tenant in an SAP HANA system replication configuration? A. Copy the tenant database B. Restart the secondary system C. Backup the tenant database D. 
D. Start the tenant database. Answer. C. 10. How can you ensure that a consistent database status is saved using data snapshots? A. Trigger a save point. B. Create a fallback snapshot. C. Execute the HDB Backup Diog tool. D. Create an internal database snapshot. Answer. D.